about learning is that no one can take it away from you. A very good morning to respected principal sir, principal ma'am, director sir, director ma'am, TIC ma'am, teachers, and my dear students. I, Miss Veronica Rai, the class teacher of class five, stand before you as the host of today's presentation of class five. So, I, on behalf of the class, heartily welcome you all to this auspicious event. Difficulty calls us to rise up, and in that rising, we learn what we are capable of. The session 22 to 23 was a bit challenging one, as we came back after two years of experiencing the pandemic and its consequences, which had made our students used to online classes and social distancing. But our students, with the spirit of exuberance and the teachers' and management's constant dedication, helped us overcome all the difficulties that came our way. And here we are today, the students of class five, with the spirit of exuberance, sharing with you the essence of learning which we have cultivated during this academic year. Before we begin, let us keep a moment of silence to thank Almighty God for his constant help and blessings to make this year a success. Now, let us brace ourselves to take a journey into the world of learning, starting with row number three, followed by row numbers 11, 12, 7, 9, 13, 6, and then row number 1 to row number 13. Education is like the sun that shines through the darkness of life. So here, let us all welcome Shaleha Parvi, row number 3, to recite a Hindi poem titled Dodi by Lala Jandal Puri. Namaste. I am going to say that 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 I am चमकीली किरणों से अपनी नींद नया सवेरा लाता है उसकी चमकीली किरणों से तन मन जीवन का नाता है कमल पोखरों में हंसते हैं मन में फूले नहीं समाते किरणों से नव जीवन पाकर पक्षी नाच नाच कर गाते एक दीप जलता है ऐसा भारत माँ के आंगन में जिसके आगे लज्जित सा है ढलता सूरज नील गगन में वो शिक्षा का एक दीप है जो दिन रात जला करता है वो शिक्षा का एक दीप है जो दिन रात जला करता है ज्ञान दीप है जो समाज के घट घट में प्रकाश भरता है धन्यवाद थैंक यू सोनियाजिंग पॉइंट मूविंग फॉरवर्ड डियर स्टूडेंट्स हैव यू वॉन्ट वाई एंड हाउ we have bright days and dark starry nights or how we have loved with spring blossoms hot sweaty summers the blissful the blissful monsoon showers the golden rustling fall and the cold chilly winter come let us hear what kushi thapa row number 11 and the boshmita roy row number 12 have to say about it Good morning everyone, I am Kushi Thapa and I am Devashmita Roy from class 5. Today we are here to deliver a short speech on the motion of the earth. As we know the earth has two types of motion, namely rotation and revolution. Rotation is the movement of the earth on its axis. As the movement of the earth around the fixed part of orbit is called revolution. The rotation of the earth is the spinning motion of the earth on its axis. The earth rotates from west to east once in 24 hours. It 24 hours make a day. 
Heat is the rotation of the earth that occurs day and night. When a rotates on its axis, half of it faces the sun, this half portion of the earth gets light. And it, re and it results the formation of formation of day. The other half of the earth which faces away from the sun does not get any light from it. It is night in this part of the earth. The second motion of the earth around the sun in the orbit is called revolution. It takes 365 and half day to revolve around the sun. We consider a year as considering of 365 days only. And Six star. This six star is saved every year. I added to make one day. A spin of four years. This surplus day is added to the month of February. Thus every, thus every fourth year February has 29 days instead of 28 days. Such a year with 366 days is called a leap year. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was really informative, isn't it? Thank you, Kushi and Devoshmita. The greatness of motherland is always in our hearts. That the connection we have with her is so deep and beautiful. So let us welcome Rohan Dev, role number seven, to recite a Bengali poem titled Shakur Deshe Sera by Dijendra Lal Roy. Namaskar, Amar Nam Rohan Dev. Ashkar at a Kobita Abdi Kotiachi Janam Shoko de Shishira, a long time a cocaine and the general life. Donadan de Pushpin Hora, Ama de Pushun Hora, the Harmaje Achi, the Shak Shop, all the Shishira. Oshe Shop, no dear to Rishi, the Shiti, the Kira, among the Stiputha Puji, Pabena to me, Shop, all the Shira, the Shisha, Ama Janukri, John Dushu, Rohotara, Kutayam Ujodara. Kutan Amun Kille to it, Amun Kalu Niki. Tala Pakil Dake Kumiote, Pakil Dake Jibi. Amun the Stikuta Kuji Pabe Napo to me. Shopol the Shida Nishija, Ama Jabu to me. Amun Sidno Nodika Har, Kutai Amun to Mukohar, Kutai Amun Kille to it, Amun Kalu Niki. Tala Pa, Tala Fu, Tala Tanel Bodia Kaja, Bakashka Har Dishi. Among the Stikuta Kuji Pabe Napo to me, shop all the Shira Nishija, Amal Jamukuni. Push the push the Horashaki Kunja Kunja Kahi Paki, Gunjuria Ashe Uri Kunja Kunja Te, Tara Fule Rupo Kumi, Pode Fule Muduki. Among the Stikuta Kuji Pabe Napo to me, shop all the Shira Nishija, Amal Jamukuni. Higher by Athos Limukuta Kuji Pabe Kibo, Omar Kuma Jamukuni Buki Amatri. Amar Inchiti Jamujana Inchiti Muri. Among the Stikuta Kuji Pavena put to me, Shop all the Shira Nishija, Amar Jamu. That was really an amazing recitation. Thank you, Rohan. Have you experienced the awe inspiring solar eclipse and lunar eclipse? I hope you have experienced it, right? So let's now learn more about them from Arpita Arun, role number 9, and Meka Pradyun, role number 13. Good morning everyone, I am Arpita and I am Meka Pradyun Chaudhuri. Today we are here to deliver a short speech on the topic of solar eclipse and lunar eclipse. Eclipse An eclipse happens when three heavenly bodies are in a straight line. The sun is a source of light and the earth and the moon are two opic objects made of solid rocks. When the earth and the moon comes in the way of the sun, blocks the sunlight from reaching the sun, from reaching the sun and forms a shadow on it. This causes an eclipse. Solar eclipse. As we all know, the earth revolves around the moon revolves around the earth. A solar eclipse occurs when the sun, moon and the earth are in a straight line and the moon comes in between the earth and the sun in such a way that its shadow falls on the earth. A solar eclipse always occurs on a new moon day. During solar eclipse, we should not try to look at the sun directly as it can harm our eyes. However, special solar eclipse glasses can be used to watch the eclipse. Lunar eclipse. The word lunar means related to the moon. A lunar eclipse takes place when the sun, earth and the moon are in a straight line. 
A lunar eclipse happens when the Earth in between the Sun and the Moon blocks the sunlight from reaching the Moon and forms a shadow on it. As a result, the people on the Earth cannot see the Moon. A lunar eclipse takes place when the Earth in between the Sun and the Moon. Thank you. Very impressive and informative. Thank you, Mecca and Rapita. Moving forward, cleanliness is next to godliness. Keeping this quote in mind, now let's welcome Abhinav Pandey, role number six, to talk about the importance of cleanliness and hygiene in our life. Good morning, everyone. Today, I, Abhinav Pandey of Class 5, would like to share my thoughts on cleanliness and hygiene. Every day we do various kind of activities and visit different places. This exposes us to dirt, dust and smoke. We may fall ill if we don't take care of cleanliness of our bodies. Cleanliness refers to keeping our body and surroundings clean and tidy. We may fall ill if we don't take care of cleanliness of our bodies. It is also essential for a good and disease-free living. Cleanliness has many aspects like neatness of the body and proper sanitation. The Swachh Bharat Abhiyan is one of the most important steps taken towards cleanliness in India. Lack of cleanliness causes many diseases like tuberculosis, jaundice, measles, influenza, dysentery and cholera etc. As we talk about hygiene, it is the practice to keep ourselves and our surroundings clean. We can practice cleanliness and hygiene by the following measures. Our surroundings should be kept as clean as possible. Water should not be allowed to collect in our surroundings. All water drains should be covered properly. People should be advised to throw the waste in trash cans and dustbins only. Wash cloth should be dried in sunlight to kill the germs. Thank you. Thank you, Abhina, for imparting awareness about health and hygiene. Moving forward to our <coughs> next presentation. Every word, every sentence we speak has its own role to play and each of them is divided into different parts of speech. So let's welcome the students of class 5, role number 1 to role number 13, to enlighten us on the topic, parts of speech. A very good morning to God and all. As we know that there are thousands of words in every language, but not all words have the same function. For example, some words express an action, some express a thing, and some words join one word to another. So these are the building blocks of the language. So when we want to build a sentence, we use different kinds of words having its own function. Thus, we can categorize English words into eight basic types or classes called parts of speech. Learning about the parts of speech is the first step in grammar study. Just as learning the letters of the alphabet is the first step to read and write. So friends, now let us read the eight parts of speech. Hello everyone, I am Love. I am name of person, place, animal, thing. I have many types like proper noun, common noun, absent noun, collective noun, countable and uncountable noun. Thank you. For example, I am Aniket. I live in Matigara here. Aniket and Matigara are proper noun. I love to go to school. Here school is common noun. I am very creative. And creative is an example of abstract noun. Some example of collective noun are bunch of keys, pride of lion. Some example of countable noun are four books, two pencils. Some example of uncountable noun are sand and water. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Pranam and I replace my friend Nam. 
I have many tenses, for example, personal pronoun, positive pronoun, demonstrative pronoun, and related pronoun. For example, Saleha is my friend. She loves to play basketball. Here she replaces my friend, so she is a pronoun. There are many other pronouns, for example, he, she, it, they, I, me, mine, etc. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Bob and I show actions and I am very active. For example, she loves to eat, I can jump and she sings very well. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am adjective and I describe nouns. I tell about the quality, quantity and number of nouns. Thank you. For example, the rose is very beautiful. I have black hair. Hair, beautiful and black are adjective. Thank you. Hello everyone. I am adverb. I modify verb, adjective and other adverb. I have different types like adverb of manner, time, place, frequency and other adverb. Thank you. For example, love is like me three. The baby is called love I am always late. Here, me three, love always are adverbs. Thank you. Hello everyone. I am preposition and I am placed before a noun and pronoun to show their relations in a sentence. Thank you. For example, I put the ball on the table. I keep my handkerchief inside my pocket. I write with a pen. It was like on, inside, and with all prepositions. More examples are up, down, side, behind, beside, over, across, etc. Hello everyone. I am Ashwin. I am a and I am joined together words, phrases, and sentences. For example, I went to the market and brought some mangoes. I like chess, but I don't like cricket. Here, and and but are conjunctions. Other examples are all here because through, etc. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Interjection and I explain sudden feelings and emotions. For example, Wow, that is a lovely day. Zure, we won the match. Oops, I dropped my bed. Thank you. So these are the eight parts of speech which help us to speak English properly. So now to sum up, we are going to recite a poem on parts of speech. One, two. One, two, three, start. Every name is called a noun, as field and fountain, sweet and town. In place of a noun, the pronoun stands as he and she, clap their hands. The adjective describes a thing as magic word or bridal ring. The verb means action, something done, to read and write, to jump and run. How things are done, the adverb tells us, as quickly, slowly, bend your bed. Preposition shows relation, as in the street or at the station. Conjunction joins in many ways, sentences, words, or phrase and place. The interjection cries out heart, I need an exclamation mark. So these are the parts of speech. Thank you. Well, 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 that was very interesting and we definitely learned a lot about English. So let's give them a round of applause once again. Thank you Class 5 for your amazing presentation. Now, with this, we have come to the end of the first segment of our presentation. So now, let us move into the second segment, that is Award Testimony Ceremony. It was a great effort by the students in class 5 
Now, we will take a moment to appreciate our awesome students for their hard work and dedication that they have shown for this academic year. Now, I'd like to request Honorable Principal Ma'am to come up on the stage and hand over the awards to the students. Firstly, we will start with the award of Awesome Attitude. And the award goes to Shaleha Parveen, roll number three. Next, we have the award for Helping Hand, Running Sinha, roll number one. Next, the awarding for homework hero is Kushi Thapa, role number 11. <laughs> Next, we have the Mass Ma Maths Master Award and it goes to Adina Pandey, role number 6. Next, we have the Enthusiastic Learning Award and the award goes to Arpita Arun, Roll number 9. <laughs> Next, we have the Caring Classroom Award and the award goes to Suryan Smandal, Roll number 10. Now I call upon our ED sir to come up on the stage to hand over the awards. Now we have the kind classroom award and the award goes to Maniket Mandal, roll number four. You are a kind classmate, eh? you make everybody happy. The next awardee for the Excellent Effort Award is Ayu Singh, role number 5. Next, we have the Best Manners Award and it goes to Susmita Sarkar, role number 8. Next, we have the Outstanding Improving Award and the award goes to Rohan Day, Roll number 7. <laughs> Next, the awarding for Perfect Attendance Award is Rani Singha, Roll number 1. Next, we have the Star Student, Student Award, Student of the Year, and the award again goes to Rani Singha, Roll number one. Thank you, sir. And I would like to request you to have a seat. And I again request Principal Ma'am come on the stage and hand over the awards. Next, we have the Writing Vision Award and the award goes to Arpita Arun, Roll number 9.
Next, we have the Best, best Dress Student Award and it goes to Mekha Pratyam Chowdhury, Goal number 13. Next, we have the Most Disciplined Award and it goes to Kushi Thapa, Roll number 11. Our next award is for Remarkable Reader Award and it goes to Devoshmita Roy, Roll number 12. Last week, we have the award for Super Speller and it goes to Abhinav Pandey, role number 6. Thank you. Thank you, Principal Man. Now I request you to have your seat. I'd like to congratulate all the students. Your achievement has made us all very proud. God bless you. May you keep shining and achieve more prosperity in your upcoming days. Now, with this, we have finally come to the end of our presentation for today. But as the saying goes, there is always more after the ending. Let us all come together again and do our best in the upcoming new session and cultivate knowledge in abundance. Thus, I'd like to conclude the event with a vote of thanks. I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our Honorable Principal Sir and Principal Ma'am, Director Sir, Director Ma'am, TIC Ma'am and teachers for gracing this afternoon by a lovely presence and I want to thank my dear students for all the hard work and effort you have put in to make this program a success. Thank you very much everyone and have a wonderful day. Until then, never stop learning as life never stops teaching. Thank you for watching. <laughs>